Hi guys and girls, how are you all doing today? Welcome to another episode of Car Chat. Philip Kelly is in the car with me today. Hello. Hello. Hi. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. We're in a yeah. we're in your girlfriend Denine's car. This is her car. She's got like the nerd stuff. Yeah. The nerd uh, placards and things. I saw what you call them placards. Pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, I have been wanting to chat with you on this stupid little program that I do for quite a while. Wow, really? Sure, wow, absolutely. Okay. All right, awesome. Um, you are <laughs> an actor. Yeah. You are a writer. Yeah. You are the sort of all around. I do some directing and editing. And, all sorts yeah. of stuff. Yeah. Um, and you have some cool projects that uh, we're going to talk about. I'm slowly tumbling through them, yes. Yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah. Let's start with... Um, Let's start with your Virgin Mary project, because I helped out with that. Yes, you did. Yeah, so I have a vested in, interest in he it. He did. He came in and did some sound work and such and some other stuff. And provided some camera work, too, right? Maybe. Did you provide some camera work? Maybe. I don't, oh, I don't know. We, there were a handful of weekends that I helped out, yeah. and it's kind of... Muddled in your yeah. brain. And mine, too. Like Literally, we, 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 we meant to shoot it two years ago, and then there was a whole situation... Ended up not being able to shoot it. These things happen. And then it took uh, a little while, and then pieces just started kind of falling into place with someone who had some equipment. And Tell like the YouTubers exactly what it is and what it's about. It's a it's a mockumentary. So it's a mockumentary about uh, the Virgin Mary in modern day Los Angeles, as if she somehow survived or came back into being. And there's uh, there's a backstory in my head that we haven't explored yet. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, there, Joseph is a part of it. Uh, they're kind of it's a rough relationship. Um, it, it very much treats Mary like um, a modern woman as opposed to this magnificent ball of perfection that right. the church has kind of made her out to be. Like she's a, somebody who needs to be humbled every now and then. Uh, so you have all of it shot and you're in yes. the process of, of post-production, of editing right now. Yeah, exactly. And, and it's a slow process. I haven't actually gotten to editing it quite yet. Like it's, it took such a long time to shoot and things keep popping up and when you're working on a project that doesn't pay anything the paying things then take precedence and indeed even if it is your own project sometimes you don't want to exhaust yourself and spread yourself too thin uh, and yes i know how that suffers. goes i yeah. know how that goes yeah but it's, um the original is up online though we did okay. a 10 minute short like four years ago that's right yeah you can find that on uh funny or die and youtube the the virgin mary documentary link down below yeah that'll be that'll be there mm -hmm. that'll be fun um let's talk a little bit about your I guess comedy career. I mean, you do a lot of different things in terms of not stand-up comedy, but uh, stuff on stage. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. It's, I, I I went to um, one of the uh, uh, comedians who does this kind of big late-night show out here, Ron Lynch. I remember doing a show once, and I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to try out some ad additional, uh, traditional stand-up stuff. And he and a bunch of other people kind of turned their heads and looked at me, <laughs> and I wasn't sure if it was like, no don't do that or did you just condescend to us i wasn't sure <laughs> what the look but he's great um, he's a funny guy yeah he run lynch is great uh but no i do um some character work like vaudeville stuff uh mr snapper and mr buddy though mr snapper has moved to texas oh i didn't know that yeah yeah he's out there now um so i'm trying to figure out another way to use mr buddy because he's silent right um so he works as kind of a foil to somebody else or another yeah. group of people i think a little better than by himself though i'm also Nah, considering doing something um, solo with him as well. It's kind of tough. I mean, yeah. Laurel and Hardy type of situation. Mm -hmm. Can't have one without the other. Or it's kind of tough to envision one without the other. It can be, yeah. Like, I've, I've hosted like two and a half hour long shows as the silent Mr. Buddy by on, oh, on really? his own, which was a lot of fun. Recently? Um, it's been a couple of years. Okay. I did like two shows like that, Monday cool. Night Tees. Do you guys, do you have a... Um, like a Facebook page for that if people want to go check yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah, Snapper and Buddy. I mean, it, it'll pop up. Link down below. Down below in this, in this Close Encounters of the Third Kind setting. <laughs> yeah. The light's blasting in like a Steven Spielberg film. Uh, what else? Anything? I mean, all this is um, really is just plug-in stuff. Oh, wow, so. that's awesome. Yeah, so I mean, there's that. Uh, I have an improv group called Mouthfeel. One I've word. I've heard of that one. Uh, it's, it's just recently kind of, we recently started doing stuff. Um, we did the ill movie Oh, okay, um, last night. Mentally ill movie um, thing last night. How'd it go? Uh, it went really well. It was a lot of fun. And a couple of our team members showed up, but it was a bunch of people reenacting um, movie scenes. Right. We didn't get around to watching the film. It was a little too late <laughs> for everybody. <laughs> like, everybody backed out. Like, all yeah, the performers. Yeah, what can you do? Yeah. Um, cool. 
So yeah, uh, the mouthfeel comedy um, that's on Facebook. Um, Link down below. Uh, you wouldn't know I'm funny right now from the way I'm, I haven't really said anything <laughs> all that funny. We're just we're uh, gonna go inside and eat some chili. Yeah, so. I've been making chili for like six hours. It's, it's not really fantastic. a funny type of mood. It's no. like a serious. Yeah. Oh, Jeremy Gay Horse is another character I do. Yes. He's fun. He's on Facebook. I don't know how I've gotten away with keeping him on Facebook. He's obviously not a real person. <laughs> uh, he's a horse head on a body and not a real name at all. So You actually, uh, we, we did a movie together a couple years ago where uh -huh. Jeremy was in it. Yeah. It was a... And your girlfriend, Deneen, was in it. Yeah, playing a unicorn yeah, person. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. That was fun. That's on Vimeo, link down below. All these gonna... links, that's amazing. <laughs> a lot I've of work got, for me. I've got demo reels up there, too. Yeah, link down <laughs> below. <laughs> there's Every also, time I do this, yeah, more work for me. There's also like this great place you can go to look up uh, like, like cat videos. But it's not like regular cat videos. Does it have anything to do with you? No, not at well, all. Then no, no link. No link. Oh, okay. <laughs> no I just link thought to I'd that. throw up another. Make you do some more. You're, work. No, you're on your own with that one. All right. Phil, they, thanks for chatting with yeah. me. Um, uh, you know, I I like to keep abreast of of your current projects, uh -huh. and I come uh -huh. to uh, the burlesque shows every now and then, and things like that. And yeah. we're we're always helping each other out with projects and yeah, whatnot. It's fun. So it's a good time. Glad to have you on he's, the show. He's a, he's a good guy. I'm all right. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you're doing well, and we'll see you next time on Car Chat. And me and Phil are gonna point at the camera right now for the video still. <laughs>